and welcome to another edition of Currently in Quincy. I'm Joe Catalano. On today's program, we will meet the featured artist that's on display at the Q Arts Gallery in Quincy Center. First though, we take a look at the weather and the news for you. Currently in Quincy, some hazy sunshine. It's already 84 degrees. Gonna be a hot, humid day today with temperatures in the low 90s. We'll start to see the effects of uh, the smoke from the Canadian wildfires in the skies later on this afternoon as well. Another uncomfortable night this evening, very muggy with lows in the lower 70s. A little cooler tomorrow, a chance of a pop-up storm late in the day tomorrow with highs in the upper 80s. Still pretty hot and humid here on Wednesday. More sunshine on Wednesday though, with a high of 87 degrees. And then storms return for Thursday with a high Thursday only about 80 degrees. Again, hazy and 84 in Quincy right now. Checking news for you today, a bill that's under consideration at the State House would require barbers, hairstylists, and others in the beauty field to report if they feel their clients are the victims of domestic violence. Now, the bill's sponsors say that beauticians get a closer look at potential victims than most people and could spot evidence of physical abuse. State Representative Tacky Chan of Quincy co-chairs the committee that's reviewing that bill. He says he understands the concept, but is not comfortable forcing beauticians to become mandatory reporters. Cindy Green proposes a mandate that folks that, uh, cosmetology folks, are required to have sexual assault identification training or domestic assault training um, as well, uh, but won't be held liable and don't report. There won't be mandatory reports. Um, I get it. It makes sense. But should it be a condition of your license to do something and not require to be a mandatory reporter like nurses and teachers? It, it, and it's not relevant to your profession. It's not like it improves your skills on haircutting. On the committee is that we made a part of beauty school. Chan says that he would support giving beauticians the option of reporting any suspected abuse of their clients without fear of retribution. Well, the state is preparing to deal with flooding that could result from sea level rise in the near and distant future. The Office of Coastal Zone Management and the Department of Conservation and Recreation are holding a series of public hearings about the potential for an increase in water levels along many of the state managed beaches, including Wollaston Beach in Quincy. Scenarios indicate that the sea levels could rise by over a foot in the next seven years, and then over seven feet by the year 2100. In Quincy, that could result in flooding all the way into Marymount Park along the southern tip of Wollaston Beach. Officials say they're looking at bolstering existing seawalls and creating expanded floodplains using natural vegetation to help control sea level rise in the future. State Senator John Keenan of Quincy and Quincy State Representative Jackie Chan are both involved in the sea level rise discussions. A teenager from Brighton's been charged with driving a stolen car right up onto the sidewalk along Wollaston Beach in Quincy recently. Police say 18-year-old Angelo Jones Saucer tried to get away from officers by driving up on the sidewalk, then back onto Quincy Shore Drive, leading police on a brief chase. Saucer abandoned the minivan along West Elm Avenue and fled on foot. He was apprehended a short time later, hiding in a backyard on Sachem Street. Saucer faces multiple motor vehicle violations. A juvenile female passenger was also charged with receiving a stolen motor vehicle. So Quincy's newest park is just about complete. The site of the former Beachcomber nightclub on Quincy Shore Drive has been transformed into a passive park with a short crushed stone walking trail and some new plantings. The city purchased that property back in 2020 for $2.25 million and then used another $850,000 to design and create the park. Funding was provided from the community preservation accounts. The Beachcomber closed back in 2015 after being in business since 1959. Mayor Thomas Coates says there will be a tribute to the McKetrick family who owned that popular nightclub for many years. 
That's our check of news for you today. Coming up, we meet artist S.K. Sahani, featured at the Q Arts Gallery in Quincy Center. That's next. and welcome to the third Revolutionary Minute. This video series from Quincy Historical Society, Quincy 400, and QATV aims to honor and celebrate the 250th anniversary of the American Revolution, recognizing events both significant and obscure here in Quincy, Massachusetts, and beyond. On this day, 250 years ago, July 16, 1773, Abigail Adams wrote her first letter to a leading voice among the patriots of Massachusetts, the poet, playwright and political satirist, Mercy Otis Warren. Adams in this opening is uncharacteristically insecure. Madam, Adams writes, the kind reception I met with at your house and the hospitality with which you entertained me demands my grateful acknowledgement. By requesting a correspondence, you have kindly given me an opportunity to thank you for the happy hours I enjoyed whilst at your house. Thus emboldened, I venture to stretch my pinions, and though like a timorous bird I fail in the attempt and tumble to the ground, yet sure, the effort is laudable. Nor will I suffer my pride, which is greatly increased since my more intimate acquaintance with you, to debar me the pleasure and improvement I promise myself from this correspondence, though I suffer by the comparison. She was evidently rather starstruck by Warren, and with good reason. Warren was 16 years Adams' senior, and by 1773, Warren was already an intellectual leader for the revolutionary cause. Under a nom de plume, Warren had published several satirical plays and poems in the Patriot newspaper, The Massachusetts Spy, excoriating Massachusetts royal governor, Thomas Hutchinson, and his administration for decisions that she considered flagrant violations of their office. Though never performed, these sketches were effective propaganda in favor of revolution. Over the next few months, the women exchanged more letters, and Adams continued to struggle to find her footing. However, when Abigail began to share her thoughts on the big ideas and events that were shaping the fate of the colonies, Mercy responded with enthusiasm. Thus, a lifelong friendship was born. Today, Abigail and Mercy's letters provide invaluable insight into the private lives of women during the American Revolution. Thanks for watching, and we hope you join us for the next Revolutionary Minute. Welcome back. The current exhibit at the Q Arts Gallery in Quincy Center is called Lines in Spaces by S.K. Sahani. This is on display through July 29th, and uh, Mr. Sahani is joining us here live in studio to tell us a little bit about himself and about uh, this current exhibit. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Sahani. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank it's, you. It's a pleasure. It's my pleasure also. The uh, work that we're talking about has actually been on display since the beginning of July. And okay. you had a reception not too long ago, right? Yes. How did that go? It's going on very well. The exhibition is there and uh, it is quite successfully running. People are coming and seeing the works and they are all abstract, geometrical abstraction works are there. So basically they may not be able to react like seeing a mountain and saying, oh, this is a good mountain or that. But this m must be, internally they be, might be feeling a, a another kind of pleasure in, in themselves. Your, yeah, your work is very unique. Uh, it's, it's, this uh, exhibit is called Lines in Spaces and it quite literally is lines. Yes, yes. yes. We're, we're, we're taught true. back in school to yes. draw a straight line, right? Yes, that is true. Yeah, you've taken Normally it to the, next the When we talk about art and uh, especially the visual arts, we always t talk about the figurative kind of things and uh, uh, expressions are also mostly depicted by showing some figure or, or anything object related with it, which is related with the life outwardly. Yes, yeah. But uh, 
fortunately or say by accident i became uh, a different kind of person who react to the mostly the straight edge and straight images so that is what i am been doing myself your whole so life basically uh, almost whole life yeah. now yeah, whole you're, life you're from india uh, yes i am from india yes and from delhi itself and uh, i worked there for a number of years and in this uh, straight line i have been many people now recognize me as a person of straight line i don't sign my paintings there are no signatures on the top nobody will say that this is a painting by but my painting itself will speak that this is by sk sani i need not have to write it my name on the painting because you're so unique no nobody else really I has that style say right i don't say it is unique it is different different yeah it is different i want to make it unique that it should be a unique uh, to, uh, to reach to uh, that point yes uh, i'm still on my way to that uh, highest point where i have to reach oh well you're only 86 so why stop now yes i'm 84 <laughs> plus now 84 plus let us see where i can reach i yeah. don't know but i mean you were you were uh, formally trained as an artist uh, from a from a young age you've you've been featured in many different museums both in india uh, in the netherlands and and in this country as well so how did you end up in the q arts gallery mr sahani yes no here actually this is my third show in this country which i have been able to put one was the first was the at the museum of modern art uh, museum of geometric art and media art dallas texas mm -hmm. that was the first show and second one i did it in boston city city gallery they had the uh, gallery named as uh, mayor's neighborhood gallery okay there i had a show for one month i showed about 15 painting there wow and now this is my third show here in america oh very good which i'm doing at the quincy arts gallery they have been very kind to let me have my complete show in the gallery and i hope the gallery will will get a kind of a reputation that they are not showing merely the uh, the art by the common people but they are also showing a different kind of art mm. in their gallery yeah not not traditional that we think of as an oil painting right like you that said of a true. mountain or the ocean that or something true. something different true. yeah how long have you been in this country i have been i i had visited this country number of times even before coming here i had my family was here so i used to come every two or three months then for my official visit i came here as an uh, uh, as one of the uh, person from the museum uh, and i was i had been given a kind of a uh, to study the uh, the art collections mm -hmm. and their documentation how it is being done here in america for that i visited about about 100 museums here in this country really and that was uh, done by the american uh, government and uh, it was a very big tour i went to different places washington chicago california and uh, i stayed in the museum got connected with them i see uh, and later on also i have come number of time and i have visited many museums interest of seeing museum is one of the many my major interest do you teach also mr sahane do you teach art as well yes i have yeah. been also a part of my teaching uh, uh, i have been teaching first i started doing it in balbhavan balbhavan is a creative center for children in new delhi i joined there as an artist mm -hmm. and beside doing my creative works and also doing a kind of a visual art works for the exhibition i was also involved with the teaching of art to the children small children i see and a very important project during the time of uh, 
Kennedy was done when they had a children's art carnival in India, which two different places in India, and that was something very different. That was the starting of the almost art education in India, oh. where the children will come and they will enjoy the creative games and all that, and then they were asked to do their creative works in the other studio. I see. So I was involved with the teaching of uh, children art right from the very beginning when I joined this career. And later on, in, when I came to National Gallery of Modern Art, there I was taking classes on every Sunday. I was taking classes of the children for a long time. Your, uh, your children are here as yes. well, right, in this country? Your yes. son, your daughter? Yes. Are they artistically inclined as well, or, or no? No, here now it is very no. different. I, I, I'm not uh, much connected with the schools or anything. Yeah, but do you, are your children artists as well, or no? Yes. Your children, are they artists? Yes, your, your I, son, I, have, your daughter? I, I have started uh, reacting with the artists here also. I visit the... Weymouth Senior Center. Oh, the Weymouth Senior Center? Yeah. We senior Center yeah. every Wednesday. Okay. They have a studio which we, they call it uh, Studio 20. One room which is number is 20, they call it a studio. And <laughs> then there are few artists, they come and we talk together each other and also we see each other's work and that become the Every week, it's a very relaxing time for me. Yeah. And there, one, uh, the president of the Baymouth Art Association, she's also regularly coming, and that becomes a great source for me to be in touch with the art. Oh, very good, very yes. good. So let's talk about the, the exhibit here in Quincy. Uh, it's called Lines in Spaces, and it runs through July 29th. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some of uh, examples of your working. Okay. And, and maybe you can okay. tell us a little that bit about what we're looking at. Yeah. So here's the first, uh, first image. And you can see you do yes, use yes. lines, but you even use lines to create circles. The l lines are creating circles also. The lines are, you know, I never thought that I'm going to use a circle here. This series I have started which we, I call it a strip series. This I have started after my show at Dara's about five years ago. Then after going from here to back to India, I thought I'm not going to use the lines as I'm using now, but I will change it. So between the lines, I started using the colors and this was the one which I did it. And it was only when I was you know, I, when I start my work, I ha I don't do any sketches or any kind of preliminary really? drawing uh, or make a market or something and then do it. I just start working any place in the canvas. Oh, really? And do the work oh. and then gradually it goes on building it. Now, then after I have reached some point, then I said, let me try this time. Yeah. A circular form here. And gradually it come, came out to be quite interesting. And I was, do you use pencil? Is this pencil or what is, what's the media that you use? The medium, this is uh, on canvas. Yeah. And this is on uh, with the acrylic paint. Okay. And all these uh, lines which you see are done with a, with a scale. Do you use a ruler? Huh? Ruler. You do? Scale. Okay. Uh, yes. We call scale, it is a ruler. Okay. With a ruler I... I do it and for lines I use not the ready-made pen which are now available yes but I use the liner oh, okay. which is used okay. by the architect I see let's take another look at the next one and you can tell us what we're looking at here yes this is very interesting work where you know the triangles are there and through the triangles you will find a lot of distance is there from first point to the last, you will see the triangles are, you know, I in my works, I use a lot of perspective. Yes. Uh, actually, visually, the perspective point will be one or two, uh, right side and left side. 
and the vanishing point uh, can be anywhere uh, depending upon your looking at the thing but in my works i use a vanishing point uh, one time or many times here these lines are vanishing and gradually and vanishing points are normally used to create a distance in the painting the the, the, the painting has a another dimension so i have tried that in this particular work and interestingly too your works don't have individual names right they're they're all the same name yes i don't write my name on the painting but my paintings are recognized by the people the way i have done it yeah there was actually a book written about about your form of artwork called journey of the straight line yes uh, an exposition of sahani's drawings and creativity yes this was uh, this is written by an, uh, uh, an architect who retired as principal from chandigarh college of art okay it so happened that i had a show in chandigarh uh, in the university museum there they have punjab university has a museum also and there my show was there and the, the principal they he came to be, he was also a writing for the a very famous newspaper tribune the art review so for writing art review he came and visited my show and then left an message that i should come to his college for the interview yeah. i went there and he interview and he published a very beautiful report which was i was really amazed and later on uh, in one of the shows he said i am going to write a book on you i was surprised and gradually <laughs> it happened of course there it had taken a long time and this book is entirely uh, written by dr bhatti and it is entirely designed also by me it's very uh, interesting uh um, the all the pages and yeah. everything uh, i took it a chance to design my own book with my own illustration in between also there are many other chapters the drawing beside normal drawing they are also designed the cover page and all that that i have done it's my it's very interesting that you inspired an architect to write a book uh, because there's a there's a cross connection there between yes, art and people, science yes people come and they feel inspired to do it yes yeah and uh, recently i had a t t talk at the uh, for the weymouth art association also i had a talk and they Uh, then the artist said that now you feel we feel that we can draw also paint with the straight lines yeah so this was a uh, almost a uh, plus uh, happiness to me that people are realizing yeah. that straight line has such a great importance an artistic uh, importance to it yeah yes. let's take a look at another work here and, and and tell us what we're looking at this is another work where you will find triangles are there and the triangles uh, and then there are strips which are moving horizontally and by playing with the color and with the triangles i s thought of creating an unusual kind of if a triangle with a triangle triangle with a triangle as if you, you are moving into the space and this work uh, on the at reception day one of the ladies liked it very much and he has uh, this is going to be in her collection oh. after the show is over you sold a piece yes we sold congratulations it. thank you so much <laughs> let's take a look at another one this is of course a very different work yes. normally i don't use circles in my work e even if i'm using circles circles are not drawn with a compass but the end point of the the lines will be a for, forming a circle okay but gradually that feeling which i had been doing it earlier is uh, has changed and now here i have used circle circular form and in between the circular form against the strips are there 
and they are coming forward and backward. Okay, all right. I think we have one more to look at here. Um, uh, yep, and the last one here. This is also interesting work where I have tried to create a, a, a very different kind of impression where the horizontal and vertical things are there. In fact, you know, in my painting, you will not find any negative space. In most of the things, when the artist paint, they have the positive space and negative space. I treat both the space together. The negative become positive and positive become negative. With that kind of approach, I had built up this canvas. And uh, I think, uh, and uh, very interestingly, uh, when I start, I don't even plan the colors also. Really? I don't plan that I'm going to so, use this color. So this you have color, no outline, you have no I, sketch. I, put, I, put, I start working. Yeah. And during the process of working, the colors will itself emerge that no, let me try this, okay. let me try this. Okay. And this way, I build up my canvas. Yeah. We do have one more, my, my mistake. Okay. There's one last one to check out. Okay. And if you could tell us. Uh, this is a very different work yes. where the circular form is used and they are used again within another circle. So this this way it has again changed the whole way of work, my working from the straight edge and triangles to coming to the circular form. Now uh, last night I was looking at one of my images yeah. where I said that today I'm not going to use a straight line at all. So I made the only the only black paper. I had a black paper. I made only circle, and I use only circular form. So the form can be created depending upon you, and you can create an unusual form if you decide that you are not going to imitate anything natural form or man-made object. So I I can't help but notice, uh, Mr. Sahani, that you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> yes, so, thank you. So thank you. you are definitely um, inspired by straight lines. Yes, thank you. Yes. Sir. Um, what would your advice be to a, a, an upcoming artist that's trying to find their way? I remember uh, I had been to one place and then uh, I was the last man to uh, address that gathering. And the gathering was unrest. Uh, by look, by listening to many things. So I was to say very small things. So I said, artist friend, when you paint, you paint what you want to paint. paint what you want to paint. And it yeah. should look like your painting. Maybe it is good or maybe it is bad. But try it, right? And also for bad <laughs> painting, I must remind the people over here that the Boston is the only city where there is a museum of bad art. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have not seen it, though I know about it from the last almost 15, 20 years that there is a museum of bad art. Uh, once I was very close to it and I was very keen to go inside, I have not seen it. <laughs> but I always tell my even the student that don't worry, don't create good art, yeah. create bad art and there is a museum in Boston which will take you. There home. you go. So good to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're Thank very you. welcome. Thank you. Just enough time to check the forecast for you for the rest of the day. Today, it's going to be a summer-like day for sure. Temperatures up around 90 degrees, a little bit of smoke in the air too. And not much change this week. It'll start to cool off by Thursday with some storms rolling in and a high Thursday right around 80. Thanks again to SK Sahani for joining us today from the Quincy Art Association. Thanks to our crew. Thank you for watching. Friday, we'll get an update on the Ma uh, Wollaston, Montclair Wollaston Association. Hope you can join us for that. Meantime, check out our website. It's QATV.org. There's our latest programs there, news and information, video on demand, live streaming, and more. For all of us at QATV, I'm Joe Catalano. Have a great week.